Hello students, my name is Priyanka. So, I am your science teacher. Today, I am here to start with the chapter number 4 or class 8. So, the name of this chapter is Metals and Non-Metals. So, let's start. Elements can be classified into the following two groups depending on their characteristic properties. Metals such as iron, copper, tin, silver, gold, etc. in general are hard, lustrous, good conductors of heat and electricity, can drawn into wires and beaten into sheets and have high densities. Non-metals such as sulfur and phosphorus in general are not so hard brittle are non lustrous and poor conductor of heat and electricity there are also certain elements such as arsenic antimony and germanium which have some properties of metal and some of non metals they are known as metalloids from the electronic viewpoint, metals are defined as elements which form positive ions by losing electrons. They contain one, two or three valence electrons. For example, a sodium atom loses one electron, a calcium atom loses two electrons and an aluminium atom loses three electrons to form the respective positively charged ions. Known metals are defined as elements which form negative ions by gaining electrons. They contain 5, 6 or 7 valence electrons. For example, chlorine contains 7 valence electrons and gains electrons to form a negatively charged chlorine ion. Oxygen contains 6 valence electrons and gains 2 electrons to form the negatively charged oxygen ion. Elements with 4 valence electrons are normally metalloids. The noble gases with 8 valence electrons do not form ions and cannot really be classified as metals or non-metals. However, since they are gases, they show the physical characteristics of gases. Occurrence of metals. All the elements in Nature exists either in combined form or free state. When a metal is found in its free state, it is said to exist in its native state. For example, gold, platinum, silver, etc. such metals are called noble metals. In combined form, the metals are found in the form of various compounds like oxides, sulfides, carbonates, chlorides, etc. Most of the metals found in the earth crust are present in the form of minerals. All types of rocks that is igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks contain some minerals. It is not always economical to extract a metal from its mineral. The mineral from which an element can be extracted profitably is called an ore. So, these are some ores of common metals. Bauxite, aluminium. Cuprite, copper, limestone, calcium, rock salt, sodium. So, now student, this is the picture. There are different types of ores as listed in the table below. So, in this table is divided into four parts. Nature of occurrence, metal, name of ore, formula, oxide ores. Iron, Magnetite, Fe3O4, Aluminium, Hematite, Fe2O3. Zinc, Bauxite, Al2O3, 2H2O. Copper, Zincite, ZnO. Cuprites, Cu2O. Sulfide ores, iron, iron pyrites, FES, copper, copper glands, CUS, lead, galena, PBS, zinc, zinc blend, ZNS, carbonate ores, calcium, dolomite, CaCO3, MgCO3, copper, limestone, CaCO3, malachite, CuOH2, CuCO3, chloride ores, silver, 
हॉर्न सिल्वर ए जी सी एल सोडियम रॉक सॉल्ट एन ए सी एल फ्लोराइड ओर्स कैल्शियम क्रायोलाइट एन ए थ्री ए एल एफ सिक्स फ्लोर स्पार सी एफ टू फॉस्फेट ओर्स कैल्शियम फॉस्फोराइट सी ए थ्री पीओ फोर टू अक्रेंस ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स लाइक मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स टू अकर्स इन फ्री एज वेल एज कंबाइंड स्टेट गैशियस नॉन मेटल्स लाइक नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड हाइड्रोजन आर प्रेजेंट इन फ्री फॉर्म इन एयर नाइट्रोजन कंसिस्ट सेवेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ एयर बाय वॉल्यूम वाइल ऑक्सीजन कंसिस्ट अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर दीज एलिमेंट्स आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन कंबाइंड फॉर्म नाइट्रोजन इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एज प्रोटीन्स इट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेरियस नाइट्रोजेनस कंपाउंड्स ऑक्सीजन इज प्रेजेंट इन वॉटर इन कंबाइंड स्टेट एंड एज ऑक्साइड ऑफ वेरियस एलिमेंट्स इन द अर्थ क्रस्ट Other non-metals like phosphorus and silicon are found in rocks in form of phosphates and silicates. Sand or silica is an oxide, SiO2. Carbon occurs in pure form as diamond. Graphite and coal. In combined state, it occurs as carbonates, hydrocarbons, and carbon dioxide in air. physical properties of metals and non metals the metals and non metals differ widely in their physical properties some of these differences include physical state all metals are found in solid state except mercury all metals have high melting and boiling points except a few like gallium that melt even if placed on palm non metals are mostly gases but there are few like sulfur carbon and phosphorus that are found in solid state bromine is a non metal which exists in liquid state non metals have low melting and boiling point however the allotropes of carbon that is graphite and diamond are exception to this because diamond is the hardest substance known and graphite has high melting point hardness most of the metals are hard and sonorous except a few metals like sodium potassium and magnesium metals like sodium and potassium are so soft and they can be cut with a sharp knife the hardness of metals allows them to be used in construction of buildings and bridges the sonorous nature of metals allows them to be used in making bells non metals are mostly found in gaseous state Sulfur and phosphorus are found in solid state and are soft. The only exceptions in non-metals that are hard are the allotropic forms of carbon called graphite and diamond. Diamond is the hardest known natural substance. Lusher. All metals have a lusher and shiny surface. The metallic lusher makes some metallic like silver, gold and platinum expensive. Gold jewelry they are used in making jewelry and other they are used in making jewelry and other decorative items non metals which are mostly gases are colorless iodine and carbon in the form of graphite are the only non metals which have a shiny appearance malleability and ductility malleability is the property of metal that allows them to be beaten into thin sheet whereas the ductility is the property of metal that allows them to be drawn into thin wires it is because of these properties that metals are used in making wires utensils doors and windows etc metals exhibit malleability and ductility but non metals do not exhibit these properties except graphite that can be drawn in the form of roads to make electrodes the electrodes used in dry cells is made up of graphite conductivity metals are electron donors they form positive ions cations by losing electrons s in a conductor it is the flow of change that constitutes electric current therefore metals are good conductors of electricity Gold is the best conductor of electricity followed by silver copper and aluminum respectively metals are also good conductors of heat 
द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हैव ऑल्सो मेड मेटल्स यूजफुल इन मेकिंग वायर्स एंड यूटेंसिल्स नॉन मेटल्स आर पुअर कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एक्सेप्ट ग्रेफाइड विच इज अ गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ बोथ द हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ दिस इज द टेबल शोइंग फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो सीरियल नंबर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स वन मेटल आर यूजली फाउंड इन सॉलिड स्टेट एक्सेप्ट मर्क्यूरी नॉन मेटल्स अकर इन ऑल थ्री फिजिकल स्टेट सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैशियस नंबर टू बींग सॉलिड मेटल एक्सिबिट हार्डनेस एक्सेप्ट पोटेशियम एंड सोडियम विच आर सॉफ्ट नॉन मेटल्स इफ सॉलिड आर सॉफ्ट और बिटल अदरवाइज दे आर लिक्विड एंड गैशियस डायमंड हाउ इज एन एक्सेप्शन थर्ड मेटल्स हैव अ लशर एंड शाइनी सर्फेस नॉन मेटल्स इफ सॉलिड डू नॉट प्रोजेस लशरस थ्रू आयोडीन इज एन एक्सेप्शन फोर मेटल्स एक्सिबिट मेलियबिलिटी एंड डक्टिलिटी फोर्थ मेटल्स एक्सिबिट मेलियबिलिटी एंड डक्टिलिटी नॉन मेटल्स आर नाइदर मेलियबल नॉट डक्टाइल फिफ्थ मेटल्स आर सोनोरस दे प्रोड्यूस साउंड वेन हिट नॉन मेटल्स आर नॉट सोनोरस सिक्स मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नॉन मेटल्स आर पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एक्सेप्ट ग्रेफाइड विच कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इंक्लूड द मोड ऑफ एक्शन एंड एलिमेंट और कंपाउंड एग्जीक्यूट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अदर एलिमेंट्स और कंपाउंड मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स डिफर इन देअर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज दीज डिफरेंसेज इंक्लूड रिएक्शन विद ऑक्सीजन मोस्ट मेटल रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म देयर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑक्साइड्स मेटेलिक ऑक्साइड्स आर बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स बिकॉज वेन डिजोल्व इन वॉटर दे मोस्टली फॉर्म अल्कलाइज हाउ एवर मेटल्स डिफर इन देयर रिएक्टिविटी विद ऑक्सीजन metals like sodium and potassium are extremely reactive therefore they are stored in kerosene oil to prevent them from directly coming in contact with air metals like magnesium zinc copper etc react when heated and noble metals do not react with oxygen at all so these are the some equations so 4 and a sodium plus o2 oxygen gives 2 Na2O sodium oxide sodium oxide Na2O plus H2O is water gives 2 NaOH that is sodium hydroxide 2 Mg magnesium plus O2 oxygen gives 2 MgO magnesium oxide the reaction of aluminum with oxygen is of importance because when aluminum is exposed to air or water it develops a thin protective layer to oxide on its surface that prevent it from reacting with other chemicals therefore the aluminum foil is used at homes and restaurant to wrap the food non metals react with oxygen to form their respective oxide non metallic oxides are acidic oxides because when dissolved in water they form acid Sulfur S plus O2 oxygen gives SO2 sulfur dioxide. SO2 sulfur dioxide plus H2O water gives H2SO3 sulfurous acid. 4P phosphorus plus 5O2 oxygen gives when heat. 2P2O5 phosphorus pentoxide. Now there is an activity. to show that metals form basic oxides and non metal form acidic oxide take a glass jar and ignite a magnesium ribbon let the residue of magnesium oxide form collect in the glass jar add some water and use both the blue and red litmus papers to test the aqueous solution record your observation take a deflagrating spoon with little sulfur ignite the sulfur and place the burning sulfur in a glass jar containing some water shake the water in the gas jar after the sulfur stops burning test the solution formed using blue and red litmus paper 
record your observation compare your observation the aqueous solution of magnesium oxide turns red litmus blue showing that it is basic in nature whereas the water placed in the gas jar with burning sulfur turns blue litmus red showing its acidic nature the above activity proves that metallic oxides are basic and non metallic oxides are acidic in nature reaction with water metals differ in their reactivity with water some metals such as sodium potassium and calcium react with water at room temperature forming their hydroxides with evolution of hydrogen gas 2na sodium plus 2h2o water gives 2naoh sodium hydroxide plus h2 hydrogen ca calcium plus 2h2o water gives caoh2 calcium hydroxide plus h2 hydrogen metals like magnesium and aluminium react with hot water to form their oxide with the evolution of hydrogen gas 2mg magnesium plus h2o water gives 2mgo magnesium oxide plus h2 hydrogen 2al that is aluminium plus 3h2o water gives al2o3 aluminium oxide plus 3h2 hydrogen metals like zinc and iron react with steam to form their oxide with evolution of hydrogen gas now zn that is zinc plus h2o g steam gives zno zinc oxide plus h2 hydrogen 2fe that is iron plus 3h2o g steam gives fe2 O3 iron oxide plus 3H2 hydrogen metals like gold platinum etc and non metals do not react with water therefore gold ornaments maintain their luster for years they have no effect of acid water and other chemical on them reaction with acids metals react with acids with different reactivities they show the difference in their reactivity with water and oxygen the reactive metals like potassium sodium and calcium show violent reaction with acids when they react they form the respective salts based on the acid involved in the reaction with evolution of hydrogen gas 2na sodium plus 2hcl hydrochloric acid gives 2nacl that is sodium chloride plus h2 hydrogen ca is calcium plus h2so4 that is sulfur acid gives ca2so4 calcium sulfate plus h2 that is hydrogen now there is an another activity to show that hydrogen gas is evolved when a metal reacts with an acid so for this you have to take a test tube having some dilute hydrochloric acid add a few granules of zinc into the test tube when effervescence is evolved bring a burning match stick near the mouth of the test tube and observe record your observations When the burning stick is brought near the mouth of the test tube with effervescence a popping sound is heard the hydrogen produced during the reaction burns with a popping sound the reactivity of metals to dilute acids decreases as we go down the reactivity series of metals up to hydrogen the metals below hydrogen such as copper silver or gold do not react with dilute acids because they are less reactive than hydrogen they fail to displace hydrogen from the acid the metals like copper react with hot concentrated sulfuric and nitric acid cu copper plus 4hno3 that is nitric acid gives CuNO32 copper nitrate plus 2NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus 2H2O water now there is an another activity so this activity is showing that metals differ in their reactivity towards acids so for this activity you have to take three test tubes with calcium zinc and copper turning in equal amounts of mass add equal volume of dilute hydrochloric acid in each observe the 
effervescence. Compare the result of the effervescence. With calcium, the reaction occurred violently. With magnesium, the reaction did occur but was not violent and copper did not react with the acids. Metals mostly react with acids. Therefore, the people are advised not to store or cook the food containing acidic contents in metallic pots. The acid present in food react with the metallic surface of utensils and form compounds that can be toxic. Acidic food and pickles should be stored in plastic or porcelain containers. Non-metals do not normally react with acids. However, sulfur and phosphor do react with hot concentrated nitric acid. Sulfur reacts with hot concentrated nitric acid to form sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. S. Sulfur plus 4HNO3 nitric acid gives SO2 sulfur dioxide plus 4NO2 that is nitrogen dioxide plus 2H2O water. Phosphorus react with hot concentrated nitric acid and forms phosphoric acid along with the evolution of nitrogen dioxide. Now P phosphorus plus 5HNO3 that is nitric acid gives H3PO4 phosphoric acid plus 5NO2 nitrogen dioxide 2H2O water. Reaction with chlorine. The reactive metals react with chlorine to form their respective chloride. 2Na sodium plus Cl2 chlorine gives 2NaCl sodium chloride. Ca calcium plus Cl2 chloride gives CaCl2 calcium chloride. However, the free chlorine present in atmosphere attacks the noble metal like gold also. 2Au that is gold plus 3Cl2 chlorine gives 2AuCl3 gold chloride. Some non-metals like carbon and phosphorus do react with chlorine but their mode of reaction with chlorine is different as compared to that of metals. You will learn about it in your higher classes. Now Pu phosphorus plus 6Cl2 chlorine gives 4PCl3 that is phosphorus trichloride. C. Carbon plus 2Cl2 that is chlorine. It gives CCl4 that is carbon tetrachloride. Reaction with hydrogen. The reactive metals that is potassium, sodium and calcium react with hydrogen to form respective hydrides. 2Na sodium plus H2 hydrogen gives 2NaH that is sodium hydride. The reaction of hydrogen with reactive metals shows its non-metallic character despite being placed in the reactivity series of metals. The non-metals react with hydrogen also. Although their mode of reaction is different, they react with hydrogen forming covalent compounds. Now, N2 nitrogen plus 3H2 hydrogen gives 2NH3 ammonia. O2 oxygen plus 2H2 hydrogen gives 2H2O that is water. Reactivity series of metals. Metals differ in their reactivity towards oxygen, water and dilute acids. Some metals react vigorously and violently with dilute acid while others do not react at all. Therefore, the metals have been arranged in descending order of their reactivity. The most reactive metal is potassium. As we move down, the reactivity decreases. The metals below hydrogen do not react with dilute acids as they cannot displace hydrogen from an acid being less reactive. So, table. This table is showing the reactivity series of metal. So, it's starting from potassium. Potassium, K, sodium, Na, calcium, Ca, magnesium, Mg, aluminium, Al, zinc, Zn, iron, Fe, lead, Pb, hydrogen, H, copper, Cu, 
मर्क्यूरी एच जी सिल्वर ए जी गोल्ड ए यू प्लेटिनम पी टी The difference in the reactivity of various metal becomes apparent when a reactive metal is added to an aqueous solution of less reactive metals. As you learnt before in displacement reaction that zinc when added to aqueous solution of copper sulfate displaces copper forming zinc sulfate such that the blue color copper sulfate solution decolorizes after the reaction. Zn zinc plus CuSO4 copper sulfate gives ZnSO4 zinc sulfate plus Cu copper similarly when copper turnings are added to a transparent solution of silver nitrate the solution turns blue as copper being more reactive displaces silver forming copper nitrate Cu copper plus 2AgNO3 that is silver nitrate and it gives CuNO32 copper nitrate plus 2 ag silver now uses of metals and non metals metals and non metals have great utility in our day to day life the metals and non metals in different forms are extremely useful commercially the metals being malleable and ductile are very important in construction from nails to iron bars used in reinforced concrete in association with cement to give firmness to structures a very small quantity of iron oxide is also present in cement the main constituents of cement are oxide of calcium and aluminum along with silicon dioxide the metals being ductile and conductors of electricity are widely used in making electric cables nowadays aluminum is preferred to copper as it is cheaper and light in weight as compared to copper the metals being malleable and good conductors of heat are widely used in the manufacture of cooking utensils the property of malleability and ductility of noble metals has also contributed to their use in making jewelry with metals like gold and platinum silver being a shiny metal reflects 90% of light incident on its surface it is therefore used in coating the surface of reflectors in solar cooker and at solar power station because of its high malleability and less reactivity and also because of thin layer of oxide formation on its surface it is used for wrapping food items like chocolates sweets and medicines the metals are also important constituent of a balanced diet calcium is required for the natural growth of bones and teeth and acts as a catalyst in different biochemical reactions occurring in the body example blood clothing iron is an important constituent of hemoglobin which is responsible for transport of oxygen from lungs to body cells non metals just like metals are equally important both commercially as well as for the proper functioning of the body the oxygen present in the atmosphere is required by all living organisms for respiration the chemical fertilizers are manufactured to meet the nutritional needs of growing plants these fertilizers mostly contain three fundamental elements nitrogen phosphorus and potassium out of three nitrogen and phosphorus are non metals their requirements is fulfilled by the application of npk fertilizers such as urea ammonium phosphate ammonium nitrate etc however urea is preferred because its addition does not bring any change in ph condition of soil Chlorine is a non-metal which is widely used in water treatment plants to disinfect and water. Chlorine on getting dissolved in water forms hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. These acids help to make the water free of germs. Now Cl2 that is chlorine plus H2O water gives HCl hydrochloric acid. HClO hydrochlorous acid. Iodine dissolved in alcohol is called 
tincture of iodine which is commonly used as an antiseptic in clinics and hospitals the silver salts are also used in photography sulfur is used in manufacture of sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is called the king of chemicals because of its extensive use in different types of industries like pharmaceutical industries manufacturing sulfur drugs and industries manufacturing paints and dyes it is also used in the vulcanization of natural rubber corrosion of metals metals react with elements or compounds present in their surrounding atmosphere their reaction with the constituents of atmosphere causes their wasting example iron exposed to moist air undergoes rusting and silver exposed to air develops a blackish layer this wasting away of metal layer by layer is called corrosion it is necessary to take steps to stop corrosion of metals it is made possible by preventing the contact of metal surface with air moisture and other damaging constituents now painting the metal surfaces when painted last longer therefore the bodies of railway coaches automobiles and aircraft are painted to prevent their corrosion greasing the application of grease on metal surface helps to prevent the contact of metal surface with air and moisture to prevent its corrosion bicycle parts are lubricated with grease to reduce friction and prevent their corrosion electroplating it is the process of coating a thin layer of a metal over the other the electroplating not only helps to prevent corrosion but also makes the metallic surface shiny iron is electroplated with zinc to prevent its corrosion the coating of iron with zinc is called galvanization the products of iron like door knobs bicycle handles taps etc are coated with chromium that not only extends their life span by preventing rusting but also make them look shiny and attractive an extra mile phosphorus is highly reactive it is stored under water when phosphorus comes in contact with air it burns into flames anodizing of aluminum aluminum is one of the most commonly used metal in making window grill door table etc because it is very light the aluminum used for commercial purposes is anodized in the process aluminum as anode is dipped in a solution of sulfuric acid such that the oxygen produced react with aluminum to form a thin layer of aluminum oxide on its surface alloying it is a common that the most effective method of preventing corrosion and extending a metal's durability it makes the metal more resistant to chemicals and atmospheric corrosion and hence adds to the value of the metal an alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal and a non metal to make it resistant to corrosion and bring desired improvement in its properties alloying brings changes in the properties of metals making it more durable and corrosion resistant some of the alloys are listed with their constituents and properties now students are you able to see this table this table is showing different alloys and their uses so go through it and try to understand the concept now it's time for readers digest so chemical elements have been classified as metals non metals and metalloids metals that occur in the free state are called noble metals metals differ in their reactivity to oxygen water and dilute acids non metals like sulfur and phosphorus react with hot concentrated acid so students it's time to take your leave so bye we'll meet in the next class